So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to split a string in JavaScript. So this will probably be the world's shortest tutorial on a JavaScript function, but let's go through some scenarios for how you would go about splitting a string. So let's say you have this simple string and you want to split it, but how do you actually want to split it? Is it in half? Is it by each word? Or is it via a particular separator? So JavaScript offers a split function and you can call this directly on the string that's stored in our variable. And as you can see, when we don't pass any parameters into the function, the entire string just gets put into one item in an array. So there are two parameters that we can pass into the split function. The first is the character that we want to split on, and we can actually just pass in an empty string into that which will split every character inside the string, including any white space or symbols, into an individual item in the array. So that's useful if you just want to convert the string into an array, but let's try with a character in the string to split it. So for example, picking the comma splits our string into two component parts, and you'll notice in both those items in the array, the comma has actually also been removed. So a common thing to do is to split on spaces to get the individual words in a sentence or string, which works pretty well most of the time, but you'll notice we've got an empty string in there because in the original string there were two spaces after the word quick. So you can also pass a regular expression into the split function. So for example, we could match one or more white space characters and when they're matched, split the string there. So that has the effect of removing that blank string that we had in the previous response. We can also pass a second parameter to the split function to limit the number of items that are returned. And of course you might want to join those items back together to create a new string. So there's just a simple overview on how to split a string with JavaScript and some of the options you have when using that split function.